Sizes in Client First. If you are with us for our closed beta of Client First, you will notice a huge change to sizes. And that change is pixels to rems. I know, for the closed beta, we made a huge push for pixels. We still love the idea and the concept of pixels because of how universally known pixels are. All different types of learning levels understand pixels the most. However, we were presented with some very important information that made us switch from the pixels to REMS. And here's what it is. A site can never be 100% accessible if it's based solely in pixels. And for that reason, we have to make the change. We are seeing a big increase in clients asking for accessibility and making sure that their site is fully accessible. And if we work only in pixels, this is not going to work for us. So we made the switch to REMS. I promise you it's not a big, difficult change. We are still based in the four-point system. We are using 16 pixels as our base font size. And I'm going to show you how simple the conversion to REMS is. Let's get into this. Again, four-point system. This is going to make it nice and simple for us to use the REMS. We're working with a lot of whole numbers here. I'm not going to read the entire list here, but I am going to show you this conversion chart. Look at this conversion. We have all of our four-point values, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 32, 40, and so on. We have everything that we need here. And then we have the direct REM conversion. This is it. This is not M's. This is not based on the parent size. This is not based on other elements on the page. It's based on this very simple conversion. So look how four pixels goes to 0.25 rem. We have 32 pixels as two rem. We have 80 pixels as five rem. And this conversion chart is right here for you. Maybe this is a little bit difficult to catch on to for your first build, but I promise you after you get to that second build, probably even during the first build, you're going to say this is equally as simple as pixels. We are dedicated to helping you with this transition. I do not think it's going to be a serious issue for anybody. And it's going to come with a lot of accessibility upgrades. We are working on our accessibility page here and we have a lot of really cool accessibility add-ons and improvements to Webflow as a platform. And the start of that is going to come with REMS. So here's your conversion chart right here for you. Super simple. And we're also really dedicated to helping you make this conversion. So we have a calculator coming soon with a, cool, a few extra really cool features on it. And let me explain how this works. How to use REM in your build. First, if you use the client first clonable, it comes with this prepackaged. Every time you're using client first, you should be starting from the clonable. And it has this built in, it has the REMS ready to go. You don't need to have a full understanding of this. But having the understanding is really, really smart. So we're going to apply HTML font size 16 pixels. This says that the whole document, the entire page has a font size of 16 pixels. And based on that value, we can then use REMS to convert. Every 16 pixels is one REM. So this works really well with the four point system, 16, four point one REM. If I multiply 16 pixels by six, that would be six REM. 16 times six equals 96 pixels equals six REM. So it's all about this being the multiplier. 16 pixels is one rem. So if I have eight pixels, that is 0.5 rem, half of one, because it's half of 16. If I wanted 32 pixels, 
that is 32 divided by 16 to rem. So we have a whole bunch of math here. This is examples and walking you through the concept, but really this is all you need. This is the chart. If I wanna use 24 pixels, I use 1.5 rem. I wanna use 56 pixels, I can use 3.5 rem. This is really something you're going to be really comfortable with very soon. If you have questions about this, please reach out to us. We're listening. We want to hear your thoughts about this and your, your opinions. Uh, we are moving forward with REM. This is not something we're going to go back to pixels with. We are dedicated to being the accessibility leaders in Webflow, and this is the start of it. We have some exceptions when we are going through our sizes. These are the sizes that we wanna use everywhere in the build. We do not want variations. We don't wanna have 550. We don't wanna have 44. We wanna to stick to these values only with a few exceptions. Number one, typography. Sometimes we do need 14 pixel typography and for that reason, we allow it. Sometimes we need smaller than four pixel spacing and for that reason, we allow the two pixels and sometimes we do need one pixel and when we're using one pixel, we're actually not going to convert that to rem. One pixel is going to be one pixel, not point zero something rem. <laughs> one pixel, one pixel. Cool, that's it. So we have our sizes, our spacing system, our move to rem. We're super excited about this. We're finding our team has already fully adopted REM, we don't have any problems with it and you will not have a problem either. Yes.